Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. We are here today with a new Easter video um, for the baskets in 2024. We now have nine kiddos and so I just wanted to hop on here and um, show you guys what we got our kids this year in their Easter baskets. Um, if you are new to our channel, my name is Katrina. Um, we are a military family stationed here on the island of Guam. Like I said, we have nine kids. Our oldest is Jackson. He's 15. Then next we have Mackenzie. She is 13. Wyatt is 11. Axel is 10. Mallory is 8. Reed is 6. Tucker is 3. Owen is 2. And little Miss Macy is 8 months old. Um, so we're going to get into it now. And I am going to show you guys what we got our kids uh, this year for their Easter baskets. Um, if you've seen any of our previous videos, um, you'll see that I kind of focus on the things that I'm going to be purchasing for them anyway. Things that are geared towards springtime, summertime, especially things that they need for the beach, um, things that need to be replaced. Uh, last year, we got them some buckets because we arrived on Guam and we thought that buckets would be really fun. Um, we had only been here two weeks before Easter and so we grabbed some buckets, packed them up, and they still have those buckets they use at the beach. So I had to um, think of something else to use this year. Some of their baskets that we bought last year got broken and so I wanted to talk about that first. So the first thing um, is I purchased these containers um, from Amazon. I got 12 of them and I purchased these because I was looking for something that I could easily use year after year. And so after they get the things, um, out of their Easter basket, I will just be able to collapse them, put them up and it will be great and easy for storage. So this year we are going with these felt containers. So I have nine of these, uh, felt fabric containers. Um, each one of them is packed for our kids um, already. Um, and so let me show you what we have for them. Okay, so we're going to start with little Miss Macy. Um, in her Easter basket, she has just a few things. Again, she's just eight months old. I had originally thought that I would buy some kind of name tag for these. And I may also do that next year. But these... Um, containers just came in this week and I purchased them two months ago so they went on the ship and it took them weeks to get here so I was not even sure if they were even going to come in the mail so I never got around to making tags but for next year um stay tuned for next year's video and I will have um some tags made for each one of their bins for Easter but as we get into Macy the first thing that we got um our kids were new hats so macy really needed a hat to wear out in the sun here on the island when we're swimming at the beach at the pool so we grabbed her a little like boonie hat for her to wear um she is also teething she has two teeth one more coming in and she loves these um anything that's like silicone and soft for her to chew on so we ran to micronesia mall to the baby store and grabbed her one of these she has one um, that she uses quite a bit that looks like an apple so we thought that this would be fun because it rattles um, and she's just in that curiosity stage and so this will be really fun for her also um, you may know that we cloth diaper I'm sure I've talked about that in some of our videos um, but I found these new prints cute little animals here so she got three new diapers. Again, anything that you're planning to buy anyway is great um, to throw into an Easter basket. And this one seems to have lost its label, but this one's brand new as well. So three new cloth diapers. I love the gumballs. And so we will definitely use these immediately. <laughs> also, she's eating at the table now. Um, eating everything actually and so we saw this cute little bib it says little love and um, we grabbed it it's got the cute little headbands to go with it just for us to uh, put on her at the table when she's chowing down with everybody else <laughs> she has started taking a bath 
And so we grabbed her some cute little rubber duckies just for her to play in. And she'll probably eat these outside of the bath as well. We got her a few of these um, organic pouches. I believe they are all the same. Apple, zucchini, spinach, and strawberry. Apple, blueberry, spinach, and pear, peach, strawberry. Oh, and one more. Banana, blueberry, apple, oat. So this will be her um, sweet treat that goes into her um, bin. She's not getting any chocolate, but... And lastly, she's only eight months old, so just a few things. I found this beautiful Bible in the Christian bookstore the other day. It's my Lula Bible for girls, and it has 24 cute little poems on the inside. So when you turn to the new page, you have your poem, your um, verse of the Bible, and a little prayer at the bottom. And so there is 24 of those inside the book, and I absolutely love it. It's like a hard, it's like a hard book, so it shouldn't get um, destroyed as easily. But it's just super sweet little poems that go along with scripture um, that me or Dad or Mackenzie and Mallory Star is reading now, so they we can read to her before bed. Um, a beautiful, beautiful book. So I highly recommend it. My Lula Bible for Girls by Alete Johan Winkler. Do you want to look that up? Beautiful book. It's pretty thick too. So that is all that we got Macy this year. She doesn't really need much. She doesn't even know what's going on. So um, just a few things like the hat that she really needs and that's pretty much all there is to it for our little one next up we have Owen and Tucker we're gonna do Owen first he is two um, and Owen and Tucker um, have a lot of the things that are the same so let's go through Owen's first first off each one of them got the same hat it's this little teal aqua boonie hat um, I couldn't find it in any other color, so I just grabbed two of these. It's been really hard to find these hats um, for the younger kids, so I had to just grab two of the same thing. Sunglasses. Everybody got sunglasses this year except for Macy. So um, Owen's color in our house is blue, um, and so he got some blue sunglasses. I'll say his is in one of the little felt containers, fabric containers. Um, Owen really, really loves trucks. He plays with his trucks all day long. He lines them up, runs them down the track. And um, Tucker has this fire truck already. And so when we found the garbage truck, we picked it up for Owen. Um, he is really going to enjoy this. He runs to the window every Monday when the um, trash truck comes. It's one of his favorite trucks to watch. And so um, there's even a little TV show, um, The Little Trash Truck or something, I believe it's on Prime Video, that they watch. Um, so he loves um, the trash trucks. So we've got this. Um, it's actually a Road Rippers Rush and Rescue garbage truck. And we got him the little Chuck garbage truck that they enjoy playing with. So it's all about the garbage trucks this year. Also, to go along with that, he got a water wow. Um, we really enjoy using these during homeschool. Um, you just put the water in the container and then they can um, paint on the pages. Um, so we got him the trucks, um, the construction trucks version. Um, that way he can sit at the table while the rest of us are doing homeschool and it will give him something to do. Um, him, he, they both got play-doh containers they have really started doing a uh, lots of play-doh um, at homeschool co-op and at awana and so now that they've learned or now that owen has learned how to do play-doh we thought it would be really fun to grab him some of his own play-doh and the little pieces that go with it um, to help him play sidewalk chalk that's a must-have in our house um bubbles we also got this little thing. He has a boat 
for the bathtub um, that he loves to play with. And so we found this one, which is like a scuba diver, you know, and it runs through the water. So we grabbed him that for bath time. Also, we found these little scrubbers. This one is the blue one. Um, and it has a little mouth here that you put soap in. So I grabbed some of this Kirk's soap. I think I talked about it in one of my grocery haul videos, but I grabbed some of this Kirk's soap for us to stick in here. We got one of these for Owen and one of these for Tucker. And so Owen's is the blue whale. So the soap will just go in there and we can use this to wash him. Thought it was super cute. It was on clearance after Christmas. So we picked that up. Again, he loves trucks. So his book is the little ice cream truck. Now his favorite book is the little dump truck. And it's actually um, in pieces now because he used it so much that it started coming apart at the seams. And I tried to tape it back together and then I tried to staple it back together. And now it is just, there is no fixing it. So it is on my list to purchase. It is his favorite book. We looked for it to the library. I mean, at the bookstore at the Micronesia Mall, and we could not find it, but we did find another book by the same um, series called The Little Ice Cream Truck. And so it is a super, super cute book. It talks about the ice cream truck going through town um, and all the places that he stops, all the kids and all the people that come to get the ice cream, different types of ice cream. It's a really, really cute book. So he is really going to enjoy the little ice cream truck. Lastly is just his few um, little snacks. He got some blue peeps. Everybody got some milk straws. We used to get these for the kids all the time. Um, and then I haven't seen them here, but I happened to see them at the commissary one day and I grabbed a whole lot of them for their Easter baskets. And that was like two months ago. <laughs> Um, some blue M&Ms and finally he is going to be getting a chocolate egg. So that is what we have for Owen, our two-year-old. I was just noticing in the background that you can see that <laughs> I have stuffed animals behind me. I am currently sitting in the little boy's bed. Mimi and Papa are here visiting us from the States. Um, and so I don't know if you can hear them um, screaming in there, but they're playing in the living room and Mimi and Papa is sleeping in their room. So their things came into this room and they're like all over the floor back here. But here's all of their Christmas things they got, their little stuffed animals. Um, but anyway, we're going to move on with Tucker, who is three. Now, he will be four next month, but him and Owen are kind of like partners, and so they they do everything together. So again, we got another one of these um, boonie hats. Couldn't find any other colors. <laughs> so they both got the same thing, um, but they really need it outside in the sun and whenever we're at the beach and at the pool. So we grabbed two of those, one for Tucker and one for Owen. So this is Tucker's. And also some sunglasses. Tucker's color is actually yellow in our house. So I was happy to find these glasses that were the exact same glasses, one blue and one yellow. So Tucker got the yellow and I got the blue. It worked out perfectly for how things go in our house. Um, also some chalk. They, they spend a lot of time outside with chalk. So that's something that we're always buying. Um, some bathtub markers. Tucker has been learning to write and actually we were at homeschool co-op one day and um, I was asking the kids to make like the letter O with um, some Play-Doh and he just started, there was a chalkboard behind me and he just picked up some chalk and started writing his letters on the board and I was so surprised because I haven't actually sat down with him yet to teach him his, his letters, but I guess sitting in with the rest of us, he has learned how to write his letters, so I thought bathtub markers would be great because then he can go in there and write them in the bathtub. <laughs> He's really enjoying learning how to write things. Again, he is getting his own pack of Play-Doh so that him and Owen can sit down together during homeschool, put out some Play-Doh, and um, make whatever it is that they want to make. Should be a fun time for them. And he got the little brother truck, um, Chuck truck to go with Owen's. He is also getting a water wow. Now, um, when we were in homeschool co-op, we learned a lot about farm animals, um, especially like 
how to say the words in Spanish and things like that. And so he's been really into the farm lately. He has a brand new um, large barn in their bedroom. And so it's been a super fun time. And then we saw this farm one and I was like, oh, that would be great for Tucker um, as he continues learning about farm animals and all that kind of stuff. So we grabbed this one for Tucker. Yellow bubbles. Again, he also is getting the yellow version of the soap. The soap will go into the little opening right here, the Kirk's soap, and um, they will play with that or we'll use it to wash them in the bathtub when they take a bath. His little book is You're My Little Honey Bunny, and I thought this was a cute book because Tucker really enjoys the books where you touch and feel, and this is kind of like that. It's like raised off the page. So the different things have different like indentions in the book and it's perfect um, for Tucker. So like this is an indention and you can feel it and then you open it up and it's raised on the page. Um, again, the indention and then it's raised on the page. So this is like the best kind of book for him, especially when it's springtime and it's just really, really cute. All the little farm animals and it, it just worked out big to be a really good book for him. So you're my little honey bunny. And then he also is um, getting his yellow peeps, his milk straws. We've got him some yellow M&M package and his chocolate egg. So the boys are pretty much getting Pretty much the same thing and that's okay because you know it minimizes the fight that's mine that's mine get them two of the same thing and they're pretty much good to go so that is taking care of all of our little little kids um macy owen and tucker so it's really super simple to do the little kids um they don't really know what's going on um, they haven't been through very many Easter's and it's not something that they are tracking as far as time goes. We don't do, we don't talk about the Easter Bunny in our house. We don't, like Easter is about Jesus. And so it's not one of those things where we participate in very many Easter activities. Um, we haven't been to any Easter egg hunts. Actually, Mimi will be um, hiding eggs for them um, on Easter just because that's a tradition of something that her mother did for um, me and my husband whenever we were younger. And um, so they don't really understand uh, Easter as far as I'm looking to get gifts. So the little kids are are super simple. The older kids, um, we focus more on um, getting the things that we know that they need, um, getting things that are useful, and also um, making sure that we, um, like, I guess, grow them spiritually. That is the, the number one goal, obviously, at Easter, because Easter is about Jesus and what Jesus did for us, dying on the cross for our sins. And so we kind of take this time to um, renew our devotionals and um, really get back to um, what our goals are as far as the spiritual goals in our house for the year. So now we're going to move on to our six-year-old Reed and our eight-year-old Mallory. And when I do this, it's, we do it in pairs um, because our kids kind of like live in pairs. They hang out with each other. They have the same friends. And so it's just easier to focus on them in pairs to get things done. So first for Reed, I picked up this National Geographic Build Your Own Volcano. And the thought behind this was that Reed is to the age now where he is really enjoying he really enjoys um, exploring things, hands-on opportunities. He loves science. He loves all things outdoors. And so we really thought that getting him something that he could do um, in the house under supervision where he's really using his mind would be really fun. I mean, what boy doesn't want to, you know, make a big mess? So build your own volcano is the first thing that he will be getting in his Easter basket. Next, he, he does spend a lot of time with his brothers. They sleep in the same room, share the bedroom, and so we did get him a water well. He does still enjoy using them. So this one is the natural world um, where it's like seasons and all that kind of stuff. So this goes along with the science thing that we were 
or we're focusing on in this basket. Um, so a water wow for him as well. We also saw this. Now we're not too fond of purchasing things um, that are like um, cartoon theme related, but this was a puzzle that we found and it was on clearance um, for $2.93. Um, at Macy's after Christmas and it's a magnetic puzzle and so he's been learning how to do puzzles um, and been spending a lot of time doing various different puzzles and so this one was one where he could keep the pieces all together and hopefully not lose them so we picked that up uh, right after Christmas and that's another thing is that when things go on sale for Christmas I try to pick them up thinking ahead to what I'm going to be putting into um, a Easter basket. So the, these were the things that we were already tracking, um, knowing that I would have to be purchasing something for. And that kind of helps to reduce the cost whenever you're getting things on sale. Uh, next, he has been asking for his slinky and his birthday is not until November. So we were like, let's go ahead and get him one to put into his um, Easter basket because we know that he will really enjoy playing with it outside. The younger kids... The little boys and Mallory and Reed spend a lot of their time outside during homeschool just because they don't have very much academic work. Um, so this is just something fun that they can play with their friends outside on our back patio. Again, he still hangs out with his little brothers. So he got, it was actually a pack of three. He got the red one for the bubbles. He got a hemp sidewall chalk. He, his color is red. If you've seen our other videos, um, you'll know that his color is red, so we got him this um, boonie hat to wear um, in the sun, at the beach, at the pool. And he got some red sunglasses. So um, he's really going to enjoy these because he wears mine quite a bit. <laughs> and they're a little bit too big for his face. So he got some red sunglasses. Um, we also picked him up this um, What Would Jesus Do red bracelet from the um, Christian bookstore and the big thing that we got him and Mallory this year Mallory um, well they go to we go to Awana and so they have been taking old Bibles to Awana and um, just some ones that we had used they were King James Version obviously they can't read them um, and so when I saw this Bible I thought well wow this would be a great time to get it for them so we purchased these brand new Bibles you see it has his name on it Reed Rogers it is the new international readers version um, adventure Bible for early readers so inside the Bible the pages that are in here are more geared towards the early learning levels, easier words to read, um, and it should just make it easier for, you know, him and Mallory to be able to keep up with us whenever we do our Bible time. And so each one of them is getting a brand new Bible and a Bible case. So that was the big thing that we really wanted to get this year for them for their Easter baskets. Also, he got his red peeps, which are 100% sure full of red dye 40, but don't judge me. The magic straws, milk straws, and a peanut butter egg. Oh, and our older kids are getting the chocolate crosses. So each one of our older kids is getting the large um, piece of chocolate. So that is, oh, 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 and another thing, I don't know if my big kids are back yet, but he's going to get a Mr. Beast bar. Our kids love to watch Mr. Beast. And of course, we can't get um, Mr. Beast things here on Guam, but Mimi and Papa were Thankfully, me and Papa were happy to go by Walmart and grab us a whole lot of Mr. Beast bars for us to put into their um, Easter baskets this year. So Reed's going to be getting a Mr. Beast bar. So that's what we have for Reed, our six-year-old. Next up is Mallory. She is eight years old. Um, first, we got her a boonie hat. 
for her to wear um, to the beach and to the pool. Now, I had also ordered new bathing suits for me and Mallory and Mackenzie, and I was going to put those in their Easter baskets, but unfortunately, they haven't arrived yet. Don't know what is wrong with the mail. Like, our curriculum that we ordered took months to get here. We still haven't received our bathing suits. I ordered a spiral Bible for myself for Easter, and it still hasn't arrived. Everything is on a boat, so the bathing suits did not arrive. Um, and that would have been in their Easter basket, but she is getting her boonie hat, her sunglasses, her little nice, cute little pretty colored sunglasses. Um, Mackenzie and Mallory collect TYs, so I got her this little TY, and I believe his name is Cobalt. Yep, this is Cobalt, so Mallory is getting, getting this TY in her Easter basket. Also, a purse pet that we picked up that was on sale um, at Macy's after Christmas, so just something fun. She likes all the glittery things, so we grabbed this one for her. Also, they are always asking for new Legos and growing their new Legos, the growing their Lego set, especially the girls, because the main Legos are in the boys' room and the girls wanted their own um, stash of Legos they've been trying to grow. So I picked this one up for Mallory, which is, um, I believe, yep, Beach Buggy Fun. So it goes along with us living here on Guam, so she can uh, get two new characters. They love to collect the Lego people. So, um... Two new Lego friends for her. <laughs> um, she is like the chalk master outside, so she also got some chalk. Now, Mallory, you've probably seen this in her stocking Christmas videos, Easter videos. She loves to paint her nails. So, um, she is always in there painting her nails. And so we got her some new nail polish. Some sparkly purple and some pink. And some nail polish remover pads that I know that she'll be using all the time. A new um, headband and bracelet. Um, also, for the kids have been wanting Crocs, so for their birthdays they've been getting Crocs. Mallory has some Crocs, so we got her some little gibbets. Um, we got her an M, a uh, cupcake, a balloon dog, and this is a sea turtle. So just the cute little gibbets for the Crocs. Let's see. She also, and it's so funny, you know, when I got these Bibles, I got them a while ago. Thankfully, they shipped and arrived here on time, um, which was last week. I didn't think they were going to make it here, but um, she just asked me last week at Awana if she could have a new a Bible case so she could put her Awana book in and I almost gave it to her but I was like one more week won't hurt so it does have her name on it and it's the same thing um, the colorful um, easy to read words and a new Bible cover so that's really the biggest thing um, for her is the Bible cover. Now, we try to find her some cross earrings. She loves to wear earrings, but I haven't been able to find any. And I kind of just gave up because I knew if I tried to order some, they wouldn't make it here in time. So, that's just something I will just get later. But, she loves Pink Peeps. She even got Pink, she even got Peeps for her birthday in December. <laughs> Milk straws. Her strawberry egg. Her Mr. Beast bar and her chocolate cross. Super simple things that she can use every day. Um, not too much trouble getting exactly what they want when you know the things that I know that they're going to use and appreciate. So that is Mallory, our eight year old. Next up is our is the next set of boys. Um, we have Axel, who is 10, and Wyatt, who is 11. He'll be 12 soon. Um, 
but we'll be talking about Axel first. So this year we got them. Axel is not getting a boonie hat because he already has a hat that he wears, but uh, we did grab him this hat that he can wear um, just regularly outside to the store or playing around with his friends. Um, we found it at the Christian bookstore and thought that he would absolutely love it. His color is orange in our house, so it was perfect that we found this. So we grabbed him this hat. We got him this journal all about me. A guided journal all about the awesomeness of me. We got one for Axel and one for Wyatt. And it just has questions like make a collage of places you would like to visit. Who are you? What goals do you have for the future? What will help you achieve your goals? If you were a millionaire, 10 things you would want to buy. Who are you? Are there any television shows that you can relate to? Are there any characters that you can relate to? So tons and tons of questions they can use, um, work through throughout the year. Just, you know, fun questions about themselves. And I'll probably have them share some of them with the family um, on Friday nights, um, just for fun, to get some use out of this book. Um, we also got him the fifth grade Brain Quest smart cards. We saw these at the um, bookstore and they did it. Well, we went ahead and got the fifth grade cards because that's the ones that he's going to be in. And I know that he is going to want to try to stump his siblings that are older than him. So we grabbed these. They're great learning tools and practice. And so fifth grade for Axel. Again, Legos are life. So um, this is Axel's two little racing cars. We always try to make sure that we get um, a lot of Legos with the Lego humans because that's what they really enjoy. Also, those rocking sunglasses. Everybody's getting some of those. Also got Bible memory word searches, 99 puzzles. They really love to do word searches. So you have over here, Mary anoints Jesus' feet, John 12, 1 through 8. You fill in, the, fill in the blanks here from the scripture and then find the words from the blanks in the word search. Great Bible practice. Found that at the Bible bookstore. Perfect. Also got this um, from the bookstore, from the Bible, from the Christian bookstore. It is a cross necklace right now. Axel is actually wearing a necklace with his daddy's um, ring on it that he got from graduating from basic training. <laughs> so we keep telling him to take it off before he um, loses it. And so we grabbed him this necklace that has a cross on it. And the back of the necklace says, by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. He is one of those kids. He loves bracelets. He loves um, necklaces. And so we grab this for him, knowing that he will definitely wear it. Next, um, we got him a new Bible case because the Bible case that Axel has now, we got for him a few years ago. Um, that's actually the case that we just got for Reed. So Reed will have the brand new version of Axel's case. So I thought, we don't want two cases that look the same, so we grabbed Axel a new Bible case. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, and uh, plans to give you a hope in a future, Jeremiah 29, 11. So his Bible will fit right in here, um, and it'll be a place for him to put his notebook and pens and all the things. Again, he got Crocs for his birthday, so oh, we got him some gibbets. See if I can move him around. A is for Axel. He loves Pringles. We also got Yikes and a pizza and soccer ball. He can't wait for soccer to start because he loves to play soccer. And Dr. Pepper Peeps. A milk straw. Caramel egg. Mr. Beast Bar and his chocolate cross. Super, super simple for Axel, our 10 year old. Next up is um, Wyatt, he is 11, he'll be 12 
um, about a month and a half. And so we actually grabbed him a new boonie hat. He had one that was um, camo that he really enjoyed, and now he can't find it. So I just went ahead and grabbed him another one with the string so that he can um, wear it outside when we're at the beach and at the pool. We also um, Lynn found this hat, the Hold Fast hat. Um, Wyatt's color is green in our house, and so this was as close to green as we could find. Um, but the Hold Fast to Faith, Freedom, and um, to Faith, Family, and Freedom. And so we grabbed him this hat that has the mesh or whatever this is called on the side to keep him cooler. That way he can um, wear this to all of the, his siblings. Um, Right now we're doing flag football, but baseball is coming up, soccer, and whenever your sibling is not playing, we'd like for you to have on hats. Or whenever you are not playing and you're watching your siblings, we would like for you to wear a hat. Um, it helps to protect you from the sun and with the glare. So we grabbed him that new hat. Also, he's got some sunglasses. These are more his style. The frames that are these like metal wire frames. The thin ones also got grade six. Now they did not have grade seven. Um, they only had grade six. So I went ahead and grabbed these and uh, it'll still be great practice for them. Um, I know that they'll be quizzing each other and using them and uh, they'll know all the answers in no time. Also, he loves to sit down at the table and do things all by himself. So this new sketch um, set would be great for him to just be able to grab a piece of paper and and sit down and actually him and him and Mackenzie sit down at the table quite a bit they they do draw a lot Mackenzie draws the most but um, lately as he's gotten older he sits there and enjoys drawing as well so we got him his own sketch kit again Legos are life so he got him uh, this like little racing car and it actually has um, the place where you plug it in to I would say get gas but I really think it's electric but whatever <laughs> do what you will with it next we got him this bracelet from the christian bookstore it tells the story right you came down to earth rose again right so got that we also grabbed him this 100 adventurous word search puzzles for brave voice it's kind of the same format um the heavens are telling of the greatness of god psalm 19 1 jonathan edwards spent time outside so it's like stories of people and the words hezekiah john the baptist joshua robert moffat samuel morris Louis Palau, Peter. So it's like different people from history. And then the dark words he'll look up over here in the word search. He also got an All About Me journal. And I know that Wyatt will definitely use this. He's, he's that kind of kid who likes to write and journal and things like that. So grab him one of those as well. Green Peeps. Chocolate Cross. Is Beastable. Milk Strong. Chocolate Egg. And this is Wyatt's favorite snack. The Chili Lime Carne Seca. The actual um, pieces of beef jerky. So, super simple. Um whole lot of things that I know that they will use and because our kids use these things regularly you know like we get these things for their Easter basket and then we get these things for their Christmas gifts and their birthday gifts and you know they use them so we have to replenish them so buying them for an Easter basket is the perfect time to get it because it's not an extra expense so just throw it in here because I'm going to be building Easter baskets anyway so that is Wyatt our 11 year old now for our last two kiddos, the teenagers. Um, I would have to say that our teenagers are pretty simple um, because we homeschool and spend a whole lot of time at home um, and just volunteering and doing things outside in our own space. Um, we don't have very much influence from other kids or the influence that we do have from other kids um, really doesn't have an impact on, our, on ours. So 
I'm not having to buy like expensive electronics or anything like that. So it's really super simple for um, Mackenzie. We did get her a new Guam hat to wear outside whenever we are at the sports games for her siblings. And again, Mackenzie is 13 years old and she'll be 14 next month. So a new hat. Legos are life <laughs> and um, she is actually really into wings of fire and really into dragons so this was the closest thing I could find to a dragon but um, I hear that they she actually told me that they do have wings of fire Legos but of course it wouldn't have gotten here in time um, but anyway this is some Lego creator Legos that she can create a dragon fish bird whatever three in one Lego creator Again, her and Mallory collect TYs. This is noodles. So she's getting a brand new golden retriever. Noodles. We also got her a Be Creative sketchbook. Um, like I said before, she sits at the table every night. She got a new sketch kit with pencils and markers and all kinds of things for drawing and sketching for Christmas. And she uses it almost daily at night um, while the rest of us are doing other things. She is usually drawing. So we got her a new sketchbook. And she actually at... Oh, let's with this first sunglasses she wears my sunglasses so that we got her some her own sunglasses the major thing that we got was she actually came home from youth group and asked us for a red letter bible one day so i went on the search i didn't want to order it offline because i was afraid that it would not get here in time like reeds and mallory's were ordered offline um, from christianbook.com because I wanted them to be engraved and that they didn't have that early reader version at the Christian bookstore at the time. Now when we went in there to get this gift they had it but it came it came in time and in, in, it came um, before Easter so I'm okay but I didn't want to risk it with Mackenzie because she actually asked for a red letter Bible. So I went to the Christian bookstore um, down in Tamaning or again, yeah, I'm not really sure where it is located, Barragata. One of the, it's downtown. Um, and I looked for a red letter Bible and I found this. It is the um, new international version, which is exactly what I have. Um, and it is the NIV Radiant Virtues Bible. Now I fell in love with this book, this Bible. I wanted her to have um, a journaling Bible. We used to do some um, Bible journaling together a few years ago. We haven't really in a while. I actually think I misplaced my Bible, my journaling Bible when we moved here because I haven't seen it actually but I used to have a separate Bible the creative Bible that I used to um, journal in I'm not really sure what happened to it but um, that's what I was looking for so it's a beautiful cover and um, it actually has a calendar. So there is nothing written in here. So she'll be writing. It just says Sunday through Saturday. But this is for her to keep track of scripture memory. The verses that she reads in the Bible. And um, it just goes through. And she can keep track of it all, all year. And then it has a section for prayers. And then it begins... And it also tells you the the Bible has highlights in it. So the blue words are in for faith, the yellow words are for hope, and the pink verses are love. So it's teaching her how to um, use uh, Bible highlight. It's got her 52 week reading guide, and so it is a journaling Bible. And it also some of the pages have. You can see where some of them are highlighted 
and it also has some journaling on the side some pages that she can actually color in that are really quite pretty and of course oh it's got two bookmarks at the top two ribbons and it is red letter so of course I was looking for what she asked for which is a red letter and and Lynn and I were both very surprised that she actually came to us and asked for a red letter Bible so of course I absolutely wanted it to do it in the back there are some bookmarks that you can tear out and some other little cards of inspiration so I highly highly recommend this Bible I almost got one for myself so still thinking about it and that we could journal together I actually might go back and get another one that way we can pick back up on Bible journaling but that is the um, Radiant Virtues Bible NIV go check that out so that was her big gift this year for her Easter basket of course she needed a case to go with it so and perhaps this is the moment for which you were created Esther 414 and we picked up a scripture memory map for teen girls where as she's reading through it and doing her scripture memory for the year um, it has pages in here where she can take notes so I know that she will definitely definitely appreciate that super super simple to um, use Easter as a time to um, put back in to the like spiritual growth of your kids that is one of the most important things for us so this is a great time to um, get anything that needs to be replaced some Bibles you know as the kids grow older they need a new version or whatever great great time to do that um, at Easter she is getting the like cake version of the peeps <laughs> confetti egg milk straw her chocolate cross and a mystery piece bar so that is for our 13 year old Mackenzie lastly is um, Jackson our now 15 year old so Jackson is usually the hardest person to purchase for to buy for because his birthday is in March so <laughs> everything that we got him he's already gotten and like for instance I had bought him a new wallet to put into his Easter basket but I bought we bought it a while ago and he really needed it so he ended up getting it for his birthday and uh, not going into his Easter basket so you know that happens with a teenager another thing is is that he's at this the age now where he's pretty um, confident in who he is and um, very set in the things that he does so like he loves learning the Spanish language he does really well in his Spanish class at co-op um, he he just really enjoys um, speaking other language so his Bible is actually Spanish English Bible and so I don't, I'm not buying him another Bible um, and he doesn't really like a Bible case so I mean <laughs> he's he's the hardest person to buy for because he, he already gets everything um, also he got a boonie hat for his birthday so like not a boonie hat but like a straw hat that is um, camouflage underneath he uses it he's a football coach he coaches flag football five and six year olds so he wears it all the time when he goes to the beach if he's uh, sitting on the sand he always has that hat with him he got that for his birthday then had to buy a hat so it was just you'll see he did get some new sunglasses because dad would like for him to leave his sunglasses alone so 15 year olds sometimes don't keep up with things very well so he has his own that hopefully he will keep up with Do I need to say anything more? He's 15. Got him aloof. It's pretty much the most important thing, right? Now, Jackson is like the Lego uh, master in our house. He keeps everybody um, 
on track track with Legos, and that's what he wanted for his birthday most. So he got a large set of um, Legos, a police station, he got a fire station, and he got a SWAT, some SWAT team stuff, Legos. And so, um, you know, we're just adding to his Legos. He really loves Legos. So here he has a new um, fire helicopter. Um, he is also really into NASA and space, and he's researching flat earth theory and things like that right now. So we thought that this would be really funny to grab because we're always talking about the sun and the moon and the stars. It's just, it's just something that's going on in our house right now as we do some research um, with Answers in Genesis and uh, what we think about um, what God says about how the world was created. So... This is really funny that we're getting him this uh, space Lego man on the moon. We also grabbed him, well, I'll go ahead with his chocolate cross, his um, milk straws, and his truffle egg. He is also, he doesn't really like peeps, but I got these just for him to try. Maybe he'll like them in chocolate. I don't know. Taste buds change, right? So, yeah. We also got him some Mandalorian playing cards. He does love Star Wars. And uh, we saw these and just thought that it would be fun for him if he wants to play um, like solitaire by himself or whatever. He goes into his room a lot listening to music. And um, that's one of those activities that he can do on his own. Now, we picked up two books for him from the Christian bookstore. The first one is A Young Man's Guide to Discovering His Bible by Jim George. Now, we we love Jim George books. Um, I have actually read a few of them. The Wife After God's Own Heart, Mom After God's Own Heart. Those are some of my favorite books. And he has actually already read The Young, the young Boy After God's Own Heart. I believe that's what it's called. I'm not really sure, but he got that last year or the year before, and so he's already done that one. But we went ahead and grabbed this book, A Young Man's Guide to Discovering His Bible. Um, he hasn't read this one yet, but it does have questions, um, reflection things as he goes through the Bible um, that we're going to, or I am going to, oh yeah, author of A Young Man. It's called A Young Man After God's Own Heart. So he's already done that book, but we got him this book to try this year. Um, just so that that will give him that one-on-one -on -one time in God's Word. And I'll probably use this as a way for me to speak back to him. Sometimes we do these things where we have the kids um, go through a book and they will answer the questions and then we will have a conversation with them in the book. Um, and so I'll probably do that with this book. The next one that we got was A Young Man's Guide to Making Right Choices. Now, he is hanging out with more adults and teenagers who are older than him. Um, like I said, he's coaching flag football, and so he hangs out at the teen center um, in Civil Air Patrol. Uh, he hangs out with a lot of teens, which, I mean, so does McKenzie, but girls and boys are different, and we kind of need to be um, a little... At, in this point of our lives, we need to be a little bit more cautious about uh, Jackson and his um, influences that he has in his life. His boys are just um, crazy nowadays. So, A Young Man's Guide to Making Right Choices. And it, again, uh, covers a lot of topics um, that I thought would be great. Um, daylight's a burning getting your marching orders, knowing the game plan, the golden rule begins at home, where's my favorite t-shirt, silence is not golden, the road to success, hanging out, what about girls, the truth about temptation, second chances, um, you can do it, make the best kind of friends, stand strong for what's right and succeeds, resist temptation, avoid bad situations, get along better with your family, set standards for your friendship with girls, so we're getting into that place now, I mean, neither one of them have actually, we haven't, had any issues with it. I would just like to continue that open conversation continuing on through the teen years. Everybody says it gets really bad. It hasn't been that bad for us, but you know, you never know. So we got him those two books. We also picked this up. Again, we didn't need any Bible 
covers or anything like that but we did find this and Lynn really liked this do not pray for easy lives pray to be stronger men so we grabbed him this shirt to wear and I'm just not saying that this is actually a 2x y'all might think that's crazy but Jackson is almost 6'2 and 210 pounds so that's our 15 year old our new 15 year old also there is inside of the base exchange there is a store that he really enjoys going to look at and it's like a military tactical store and they have a mannequin in there and the mannequin has awesome tactical gear and then he's wearing these shorts it's like a bathing suit it's really soft and it's, it's like a bathing suit so we thought it would be really funny you know jackson's 15 so we can play play fun little tricks on him but um the actual mannequin is wearing this with his combat boots and his tactical stuff up top and jackson's always wearing something tactical but we got these to throw into his easter basket to see if he would actually wear them <laughs> i don't think he will but but maybe i can maybe i can bribe him enough but it's really really soft i would wear it you know maybe not because it's kind of short but to the beach there's usually nobody there they're very, very comfortable. Anyway, and last but not least, for our Mr. Beast watching teenager. He loves Mr. Beast. Yeah. So, kudos to Mimi and Papa for coming through with that simple request. Because we have scoured the island for it, never found it, and still get asked for it. You know, so super simple and easy um buying things to help guide our kids spiritually and just to help bring some fun into their lives and replace things that they have used up and things that we know that they use every day and um that's just the best way to do it nothing that's wasted nothing too much um just showering our kids with love on one of the most important days of the year when we celebrate christ's um, resurrection and all that that means for us as individuals and for us as a family so that is um, Jackson our 15 year old thank you guys for taking the time to sit down with me this year as we go through what we got our kids in their Easter baskets um, it's always a fun time to do these videos and share the things that our family does as we continue to grow and um, adding in new new little sweet babies like baby Macy um, things around here are fun like i said mimi and papa are here so we are living our best life and i uh, do have videos that are be coming out our homeschool videos like i said it took a long time for our homeschool curriculum to get here but it is mostly here and so i have started videoing some of that to let y'all know where we are going as far as homeschool is concerned and so those videos will be coming out soon thank you guys for watching um don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can uh, carry on with watching all of the fun stuff we have coming up in the future. So until next time, bye.